swim-tastic day, folks. This is SWIM News for Everyone. Because in swimming, there is no exemption. I am your swim-tastic anchor, Mark Anthony Reyes. News with fact, caught in the act. Fairness in fairness, swimming is for everyone, no matter what age or level of fitness. Any age can learn to swim, and there is no age limit on when you can no longer swim. As humans, we have the ability to hold our breath underwater and undertake rudimentary locomotive swimming within weeks of birth as part of our evolutionary response. Most importantly, swimming is a lifelong skill that could save you or another's life. To give us the details about swimming and its history, Miss Other Self, spill the heat. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. Swimming is a technique that humans and other animals use to move through water using only movements of the body, often for exercise, fun, and competition. The movements in swimming are achieved through the coordination of movements of the limbs, the body, or both. Let us freshen up the history of swimming. Competitive swimming in Europe started around 1800, mostly using breaststroke. In 1900, backstroke was included as an Olympic event. The World Swimming Association, Federation Internationale de Natación, the amateur formed in the year 1908. Butterfly stroke was first a variant of breaststroke until it was accepted in the year 1952. The first Olympic Games in swimming was held in 1896, yet it was a male competition only. Women were first allowed to swim in the year 1912 in Summer Olympics in Stockholm, competing in Races. Now it's time to meet those well-known swimmers who made a great contribution to the history of swimming. Jenny Wade Muller he is the first person to swim the 100 meters in less than a minute using six kicks per cycle Australian crawl. And of course, women throw themselves and will never be left behind in the history of swimming. Sibyl Bauer, the first woman to break men's world record over the 440 meter backstroke in 6 minutes and 24.8 seconds. Miss Other Self, your swim tactic partner, report. For stroking news, Mr. Other Self please enumerate and enlighten us about what is strokes and the four major types of strokes in swimming. Spill the heat. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. Strokes is one of the essential skills in swimming. It involves the method of moving the arms and legs push against the water, and it also determines the versatility of a swimmer in a competition. There are many kinds of strokes in swimming. Each stroke has different swimming style or crowd, yet there are four major strokes in swimming, which are the breast strokes, butterfly strokes, and two alternating strokes, which are the front crowd or freestyle and back stroke. Miss Other Self, your swim plastic partner, reporting. As well as being fun, swimming is a great way to keep fit and stay healthy. As a matter of fact, swimming can could be done as part of human exercise because resistance exercise is an excellent form of exercise. Swimming is a primarily an aerobic exercise due to the long exercise time. To give us a short background about the most decorated Olympian swimmer of all time, mix other selves feel the heat. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. Michael Fred Phelps II, or also known as Michael Phelps, is a competitive swimmer from America and considered the most decorated Olympian of all time. With a total of 29 medals, he holds the all-time best record for Olympic gold medalist. He cemented his title as the world's greatest swimmer and world's greatest Olympian. His other self, your swim tastic partner, reporting. Thank you, Miss Other Self. That's all for today's news. Once again, Mark Anthony Reyes, your swim tastic anchor from SWIM News for Everyone. Because in swimming, there is no exemption. Keep safe and God bless.